In this video, we'll review how to write a recursive and an explicit equation for a geometric function. The way we're going to do this is we're going to look at the change in the table. Now to be geometric, we're going to describe that as having either a constant ratio or a constant factor. That means that for each term, we have to multiply the previous by the same number each time. In this case, I notice that to go from 6 to 12, I'm multiplying by 2. To go from 12 to 24, I'm also multiplying by 2, times 2, and times 2. I see that we have a constant ratio, or a constant factor of 2, for this table. When I go to write the recursive rule, I need to start by defining what the beginning term was. In this case, we had x is 1, which means f of 1 equals 6. That was the first f of x value. Then, for the recursive rule, we needed to say how any term, which we call f of x, relates to the previous term, which we'll call f of x minus 1. Now in this table, we notice that it had a constant factor of 2. So I'll say that it is the previous number times 2. This could also be rewritten as 2 times the previous number. Now, understanding that repeated multiplication becomes exponential, we can use that to write the explicit rule. The explicit rule in this case, f of x equals the beginning f of x term was 6. We saw that we were multiplying by 2 each time, and it becomes exponential. However, for the exponent, we notice that we're only multiplying by 2 after the first case. The way we write that in the equation is on our exponent, we'll put minus 1. If the table had started with x equals 0, it would just be an x in the exponent. If the table began with a 5, for instance, we would say it's x minus 5 for the exponent. Now we can use this explicit rule to help us find what the 14th term in the sequence is. To do this, we will take the equation f of x equals 6 times 2 quantity x minus 1, and we'll substitute in 14. So to find f of 14, we'll take 6 times 2 raised to the 14 minus 1. Now it's going to be simpler just to say 14 minus 1 is 13. Now you're going to need a calculator for this, and we would type in 6 times 2 Use your exponent button, 13. When you do this, you'll see that the 14th term in the sequence is actually quite large. It's 49,152. The explicit equation is very helpful and handy for this because I don't need to know what the 13th, the 12th, or the 11th terms was. All I need to simply do is substitute any term number into this uh, equation, and I can find that value. All right, well, thank you for watching this video, and I hope it helped.